Hello everyone, my name is John from the Miami Children's Museum. You can also call me Master John. I am a Taekwondo teacher, and today we're going to do some basic exercises that we do in any kind of regular Taekwondo class, but with some modifications. So I'll tell you how to do one thing, and I'll give some options for other ways that you can do it if necessary. Now, to begin every class, we stand, hands to our side, and bow. Do that however you can. Very good. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to want to loosen up our whole body, right? So, the best way to do that is to get uh, some blood flowing. So we're gonna do some jumping jacks. Regular jumping jacks are where we hop out with the hands and feet at the same time. But of course, um, if jumping is something that we don't want to do, then just stand in place, maybe hopping in place, or even just standing and waving the arms however we can. Now let's do 10 jumping jacks. Try to stay with me. Ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. A lot of times when we do Taekwondo, it is a martial art that is from the country Korea, um, specifically South Korea. And when we count, we oftentimes want to do it in Korean, the language. And so you hear us say, Hana Dul Set Net. Taset, yaset, ilga, yadul, hahap, yul, as we do these exercises. Very good. Now, let's loosen up our body since we got a little bit of blood flowing. We're going to loosen up one body part at a time. So let's start standing neutral at attention with our heads. We'll roll around our neck. We'll move it freely side to side. I can look to the left and to the right like I'm saying no. I can look up and down like I'm saying yes. I can even draw a smiley face with my nose, side to side. Then I want to loosen up my shoulders and just the arms. I want to loosen up the upper part of my body and the lower part of my body, one leg and the other leg. Very good. Now, let's do some exercise to actually work on building some muscle as well. We'll do three simple exercises. One to work on the arms, one to work on the core, like our tummy muscles, and one to work on the legs. So, push-ups is a classic thing to do with our arms, and there are many different ways to do that. So, we could do them standard on the floor. If that's too challenging, you could do it leaning against a couch, or a table, or even the easiest version would be against the wall, where you place your hands against the wall and push like so. So let's do 10 push-ups, and we'll count again in Korean. So with me, and hana, do, keeping the body straight, set, net, tase, yase, ilga, yadu, ahap, yu, and rest. Very good. So that was a good exercise to work on our arms. This is important in any martial art because whether you're doing a technique like a punch or whether you're just doing a form or a pattern, exercising and making your arms strong is very useful for doing the art well. Now let's work out our core. To do this, we're going to do almost like a form of play where we're going to walk in a bear crawl. You can walk as any animal you want to as long as you're sort of leaning forward. So, if going all the way to the floor is too hard, you could do T-Rex walks, where you pretend to be a dinosaur, and lean forward and bend your legs. Or if possible, go all the way on your hands and feet. You could also go on your hands and knees, which is a little easier. So ready? Let's take some steps forward. Hana, do, set, net. And let's take some steps backwards. Kaset, yaset, ilgap, yadu. Very good. And lastly, we want to exercise our legs. So, we're going to do some frog hoppers, sometimes also called squat tucks. Um, the way you do these is you go all the way down into a squat with your hands on the floor. And then you jump up and lift the knees. Of course, you could always do a slightly easier version where you just jump up and don't lift the knees. Or of course, you could even do it without any jump at all where you sit and stand. So, let's go for five frog hoppers. Ready? Hana. Two. 
set, net, and pass. Good. Very good. So now we should be all warmed up and ready to do some Taekwondo. We end by standing just like we did in the beginning. Hands to our side, the words are chitty up, and bow.